Facebook has run into a pretty big bump in the they road. Have. I mean, lots of controversy, scandals, loss of user trust. Mm -hmm. Where do you think Facebook went wrong? You know, it's so easy to um, look at these companies and then now say, well, where did they go wrong? Um, listen, when you are growing at that rate, you have become so ubiquitous. You do the best job you can at the time, and sometimes you make mistakes. Sometimes you don't see things as clearly as you might have. And the question is, you will make mistakes. Now the question is, how fast do you fix them? And um, you know the proof will be in the pudding. But I think there's certainly a commitment from the top of that company to fix some of the mistakes that they, you know, have acknowledged making. You navigated a historic split at HP. Mm -hmm. Do you think some of these companies, these big tech companies, are too big for their yeah. own good? I don't know. I mean, I felt certainly that HP had to be broken into smaller, more nimble pieces. You know, there was a time for a big IT supermarket, you know, in the 80s and 90s where tech spending was, you know, rocketing. But then there comes a time where an industry shifts and I think you become too big to be nimble enough to fight off the competitors that are now disrupting you. And that's what we saw at HP. I think when industries get quite mature or there's a different life cycle that you're faced with, then sometimes smaller is better. Not always is bigger, better. So we'll see. I don't think the same thing is driving this right now. This is more, you know, people are asking, is it just too big because there's, you know, too much power consolidated in these companies? That's different than what we faced at HP. Do you think regulation is a real threat to these companies? So um, I think that the government is very interested in these companies. And, um, you know, having been a politician, what I will tell you is politicians, you know, they see something happen and then their instinct is, okay, what should we be doing to regulate that industry or protect consumers? And that instinct isn't necessarily wrong. They have to know what they're doing and they have to be thoughtful about it. But, you know, there may be a role for some regulation. So of the sort of big tech companies, where do you see the biggest risk? Well, I will tell you, tech is moving at lightning speed. I've never seen anything quite like this. You know, I think in my early days of my career, you had sort of, you know, you'd see trends coming and you had a year or two or three to adapt. Now you have a month or two <laughs> or three to adapt. I think the biggest challenge is the time of innovation has shrunk dramatically. And you just see these new companies come out of, any, come out of nowhere that disrupt the very thing that you thought was safe. Are Facebook and Apple and Google, are they disruptable? Amazon? You know, I suspect they are. Okay, so, you know, Jeff Bezos has said someday Amazon will be disrupted. And, you know, you read about Sears today. And Sears 100 years ago was the Amazon of that time. And, you know, they've been disrupted. You know, business is Darwinian. There's no question about it. When you were running eBay, mm -hmm. you made a pledge to win China. Well. Yes. Alibaba won China, and actually no U.S. tech company has really won China. eBay didn't, Amazon didn't. You are right about that. You said whoever wins China wins the world. Mm. Is, is China as important today as it was back then? I think China is very important. And you may know that our uh, joint venture partner in China is likely to be Alibaba. And um, I'm just glad to be on the same side as them this time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a huge film market, yes, yes. but it's also been difficult for yes, US, this it US has. entertainment industry to crack. I mean, China is a very unique market. And I think, you know, it's, it's unwise, I think, to try to think about going to China alone. I mean, I lived in China for four months when I was trying to fix eBay in China, and it's just completely different. And so having a strong partner who understands that market, I think, is, is really important. So what will Alibaba provide? They have, you know, tremendous scale in China. I mean, it's remarkable um, how much they have grown in the last 20 years and obviously have a platform um, called Yuku. They have, you know, Alibaba Pictures. They have, you know, music. They've got a lot of entertainment properties that, that hopefully we can leverage, and they have remarkable technology. What's your take on the U.S.-China trade tensions yeah, yeah. as we sit here in the middle of a trade war? Yeah. Well, um, I think maybe you know this about me. I, I tend to be a free trader. You know, I think global trade, while there is dislocation associated with global trade, is actually the right thing to do. And, you know, you want it to be a level playing field, and I'm certain there's some things we can do better with China. But honestly, the free movement of goods and ideas and trade has always been the right thing for the United States. So and what's at stake? Well, I think, you know, listen, I think we have to be there very thoughtful. They are the second largest economy in the world. There's lots of things that we should be doing together. Is it good for every single person in every single community? No, but overall, 
it's the right thing to do. And then we as a country have to keep our eyes on what are the next industries, what are the growth industries, whether it's immunotherapy or 3D printing or robotics or AI. Let's make sure that we are the best in the world at the industries of the future um, because that's always been what has made America great.